her pumpkin. Cool. Here are our picks. Oh yeah, there's another white and that size one that we got. And then here are the wax balls. And then also these go at the bottom because we're gonna turn them into candles, yay! Michaela <laughs> has gotten into hers. I see a little one over here. I have yet to do mine. I need to get busy. I need to shorten it. And then we'll be putting these wicks in. So we have these little metal pieces with the wooden wick. And then we'll place it right in here. And add the wax. Wait, wait, We've wait, reached whoa, whoa, whoa. the fun stage. Time to put the wax in it's our little fun. candles. Please don't, please don't burn me. Please don't burn me. <laughs> Ooh, so far so good. Oh my goodness. Okay, there. That's oh. weird looking. Ma, can you pour some more in mine? So we're putting in some patchouli. All right, and let me put this out so I can put the rest of that in. Hello, everyone. All right, let's finish up this do-it-yourself pumpkin candle project. So these two I did not get to finish at my dad's house a few days prior, so I decided to get them done. It's a very quick, easy project. So first you pick out the pumpkins that you want to use, then you are going to make sure you clean them out. Hopefully you enjoyed my footage of the time I spent over there with my sisters and my niece. It was a really fun day. The pumpkin patch was gorgeous and I was supposed to get some really cute pictures of my baby and she fell asleep. <laughs> so she fell asleep in the car right before we got there and I knew it was going to be a pretty busy day the rest of the day hanging out with everyone so I just decided to let her sleep and she stayed in there with my sister and I was able to take a look around and I actually ended up picking out these little pumpkins that were right at the checkout area so um, I did get some of those sort of small to medium sized ones but um, my sister carved those Anywho, back to the project. So got that one cleaned out. You wanna make sure it's as cleaned out as possible because we are gonna be putting the wax as well as the wick and the little metal piece that holds the wick. So you wanna make sure it's nice and cleaned out. And then as you'll see in this one too, I make sure that the bottom is as smooth as possible because yeah, there was a little bump and it's much nicer. Set that little metal piece down when you have a nice smooth bottom to work with. Okay, working on that second little pumpkin now. The little guys are a lot easier to clean out than the big ones. I mean, the big ones aren't that hard either, and they're actually kind of fun, but it's nice to have a project where you're not spending a ton of time because really this whole process took me the time it took for my daughter to take one of her naps. So it worked out really nicely. Um, I believe I was just showing the bottom there, wanting to make sure it was as flat as possible because there was a little bump and I used the spoon to really dig that and make it smooth so that way our wick could sit nicely and just have an easier time staying straight. Mm -hmm. 
all set. Here are our wax blocks and one pack was about $5. I think it was $4.99 if I recall. And it came with those three pieces. So we're going to microwave this. Be extra, extra careful when doing this. You definitely wanna make sure that you do not burn yourself. So there's me just waiting on the wax to melt. Drinking lemon tea, by the way, and it was delicious. So as the wax was melting, I decided to go ahead and figure out how I was going to, what I was going to do for the wicks and really just the length. So as you can see, it's got that flat bottom on the wick, the piece of metal. So you want to try and make sure the bottom area surface area of your little pumpkin is nice and smooth so that way it can sit nicely and here i'm showing what you can do which is take two sticks and place them alongside on top of the pumpkin and that way your wick can stay centered or not fall i did not do that in this project but i did just kind of want to show what that would look like So it's important to leave enough length for yourself so that way when you're pouring the wax in you don't have to worry about the wick if it's too short falling over or into the pumpkin here is my wax is ready dance <laughs> all right extra careful make sure you have those gloves on mittens what are those called kitchen gloves all right if you have a glass measuring cup I would absolutely suggest using that I actually don't have one of those so I used a glass bowl instead and it worked well enough for this project thankfully I really wasn't doing it with anyone else because I did spill some of the wax but it went onto my trusty newspaper so that way I didn't make too much of a giant mess so here i am holding the wick steady just so long enough that it can kind of stabilize and then i had to think fast because if i would have taken away my hand it was going to fall and my spoon was there that i used to carve the pumpkin out and yeah <laughs> there's me just saying guess that's gonna work So as you guys can see, it spills out, but that's okay. This is what happens when you do it yourself. You know, you're not always fully prepared, but that's okay. Cause you're just doing it. You're getting it done. And I was still having a lot of fun with this. Voila. These little guys took about an hour, maybe an hour and a half to cool. And as you can see, the wax has hardened and they look great. And then you can trim the wick And they are ready to light. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this very easy, very quick little project. My intention for these was to make centerpieces. I think this would look really cool and cute on your Thanksgiving table setting your tablescape 
Ideally, you would have a runner underneath these candle holders, and I think you could just make a really nice looking table and then also incorporate the pumpkins and light the candles. And these are non-scented, so they're perfect for your dinner or just event or really any day. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and subscribe for more.